What's going on everybody, it's your boy The Truth. Now I know you have these people in your gym too. You know, the ego lifters. But sometimes I sit back and I think, watching these people is like watching Pokemon evolve. So it gave me an idea for this video. It seems for ego lifters there's three stages. You have ego chew, and these are the people that are new to the game. These are the people that have just stepped in for the first time, they're the newbies, but the newbies with an attitude. <laughs> NWA, but just the, the rubbish sort. These are the dudes that come in on their first day of the gym, the very first day wearing a muscle stringer. What are you doing? That's like buying a double D bra for your six year old daughter. Take your time, relax yourself. These are the people that don't quite know what they're doing, but instead of asking for help or looking to people who they aspire to be, they try to make stuff up themselves. We've all seen it, the Planet Fitness videos that you see circulating around YouTube and on Vines and stuff. It's there for everyone to see. Get help. Ask people. Then we've got the next phase, ego minder. <laughs> I don't even know where I came up with these names. But yes, ego minder. Now this is a stage where they've just gained a little bit more confidence. They're, they're feeling good. They've, they've made a few gains, but as I quote Scott Francis, weight training is like having sex. You can do it really badly, but still get quite a good result. So they're there, muscle stringer on. They've gained a bit of, little bit of size and they're, they're feeling confident. They've activated some muscle fiber. So you're seeing a little bit of the gains. And then this confidence is expressed in three forms. Number one, throw in the weights after every set. I will demonstrate. Yeah, one. Two, yep, three, four, one more, yeah. and then they just dash the weights like they're playing Dragon Ball Z or they're playing Street Fire and they're Ryu or Ken. Hadouken! Just doesn't make any sense. Number two, they scream on every set. No matter what the weight is, no matter what they're doing, it could be doing finger curl and they will scream on every set like, ah! Ah! Stop it, bruv, just stop it. And then number three, ILF, or if you don't know, imaginary lat syndrome. They've got the confidence, they're throwing the weight, and they walk everywhere like this. But there is nothing here, there's nothing to show, but they walk around like this. ILS is a hell of a drug. And then this brings me to the final form, Egosaurus. Rawr. Now they got to this stage, full evolution, they're at their final form. So not only do they have ILS, imagine lat syndrome, they also have SPS, shit my pants syndrome. I shall demonstrate. And they've got to the point where they're making, they've made decent gains. You can see the shoulder cap, you can see the chest. It might not look balanced, they might look symmetrical, but they've made some gains. So they have the ego at level 1000. Not here, that's 500. Up here, off the screen, that's 1000. And they feel they can outdo everyone, no matter who it is. You can be 250 pounds squatting 500 pounds. Their max squat from the previous week was 200 pounds. They will still come and say, yeah, well, call me, call me when you're doing like 600 pounds. Yeah, I did that last week, I did that last week, yeah, yeah, yeah. What a douche. They just want to outdo everyone. They want to. They, they want to prove a point. So I leave them to prove their point. I don't. I don't get tied up into their game. Once you get tied up into their games, it's like a Chinese finger trap. You can't leave. So I leave you with this public service announcement. Ego Titus is very contagious. If you hit stage one, see your doctor immediately. You need medicine. But on a real though, don't let your ego take over you in the gym. All it's gonna do is hinder your gains and you won't focus on yourself because what they lift is different to what you lift. Your strong points are different to their strong points. You see where I'm going with it. So stay true to yourself. But if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. If you can relate, share it with your friends. Let the whole world know about these videos and this channel. So hit subscribe, share on Facebook and Twitter. Make sure you leave your comment in the comment section. That be downstairs down there and I will see you guys later you, you, you can't hide, you can't run. Remember true, always be true, no matter what you do. I, I, I never front it, I got my whole